The sheep and the goat in the end times. There was a divine visitation on Tuesday the 24th of July 2007. On this day, the Lord Jesus Christ himself came to visit us in the church. He was accompanied by the archangels Michael and Gabriel. When they came, the Lord began to talk to us about the rapture of the church. I will repeat exactly the words that the Lord has spoken to us in the church. The Lord said, Do you know why I said I would send my spirit in the last days? Joel 2:28. Although he had already come in the day of Pentecost, Acts 2, 4. The Lord said, It is written that in the last days I would pour my spirit on all flesh, yet we know that the Holy Spirit has already come in the day of Pentecost. Is it not written in my word that there is one spirit, Eph 4, 4, that has come down on the day of Pentecost? So why will I send my spirit again on the last days although he has already come? Jesus said, You have to understand that in the last days when my spirit falls on my people, the principle of Pentecost will be repeated. It means what happened on the day of Pentecost will happen again in the last days. It will be a repeat. Act 113-14 And when they have come in, they went up into an upper room, where abode both Peter, and James, and John, and Andrew, Philip, and Thomas, Bartholomew, and Matthew, James the son of Alphaeus, and Simon Zealots, and Judas the brother of James. These all continued with one accord in prayer and supplication, with the women, and Mary the mother of Jesus, and with his brethren. When the day of Pentecost came, the believers were all together in one place in Jerusalem. Jesus said, this is exactly what would happen on the last day. In the last day, the spirit of Pentecost will cause my people to have the tendency to being gathered together in fellowship. The Holy Spirit will cause my people to have the spirit of gathering. They will love the gathering, as it is written, Behold, how good and pleasant it is when brothers dwell in unity. It is like the precious oil on the head, running down on the beard, on the beard of Aaron. Psalm 133. Jesus said, The gathering is the spirit of Pentecost and in the last days, I will pour out the spirit of Pentecost in my church again, which is the devotion of fellowship and gathering. Jesus said, In the last days, my spirit will come down only upon those who are members of the church which is represented here by the upper room. People will have the tendency to fellowship and be in the gathering of the church. The love of fellowship in the church is representative of the spirit of Pentecost that has to come down to gather the wise virgins. Jesus said to me, before the rapture, the spirit of gathering will animate my people. The Bible says, they all joined together constantly in prayer, along with the women and Mary the mother of Jesus, and with his brothers. Then the Lord said to the congregation, you must all get your notebooks in order to write. On that day, we were forty faithful in the church. We all obeyed the instruction of the Lord. We all took notebooks and pens in order to write the counsel of the Lord. Then the Lord instructed us to read Matthew 25, When the Son of Man comes in His glory, all the nations will be gathered before Him, and He will separate the people one from another, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will place the sheep on His right and the goats on His left. Matthew 25, 31-33 The Lord said, On the basis of this passage, those who will come to my right are Christians who have demonstrated strength and vigor during their walk at the end of times. They were strong and dynamic. The Lord said, those who are called goats are believers who were weak in their walk in the end times. The Lord said, let me talk to you and analyze the profile of a goat in the scriptures. The goat is an animal upon which the sins and faults of the people were placed and then he was sent to the wilderness which is the residence of the demon Azazel. Leviticus 16.10 The Lord said, this is the image of the rebellious Christian, who is stubborn and who lives in weakness who, despite the efforts that were put in place to help him repent and purify himself, he is still failing to respond to those efforts, has adopted the image of a goat. This is the image of a Christian who has no roots in serving God and has no church to serve as a member. This kind of Christians contends themselves with spiritual wandering. This is the category of believers that the pastor has given up on, who are living like goats. They live lives without fulfilling the purpose for which they were designed. They are without a doubt a disappointment of the Creator and the Designer. However the Lamb is manifested in different altars of the Holocaust. The Lamb is the image of the believer who knows how to undergo the effect of the suffering that one endures in order to live a pure life in the will of God. The altar and sacrifice represent Christians who have matured and are participating in the different tasks of the Church.
The immolation of the Lamb is the image of the Christian that has accepted the suffering in the church so that the work of God may move forward. The action of taking the Lamb and burning him on the altar is the picture of the believer that is suffering in God's service in the church for the work of God to excel. A Christian who is doing God's work in the church is a picture of a lamb raised on the altar and consumed in fire. He will be among the lambs that will come to the right of the Lord's throne in the last days. Working in the church means you have accepted to endure suffering and fire of the altar. The Lord Jesus said to us, Is it not written that I made you a kingdom and priests? Being a priest means participating in the work of God. Failure to participate in God's work means that you are not carrying out the duties of a priest. Yet I have made you a kingdom and priests. And you have made them a kingdom and priests to our God, and they will reign upon the earth. Rev 5:10. Thus the kingdom of heaven is for workers and servants. There are people who come to church but they refuse to serve and participate yet it is written, you are a kingdom of priests. They do not fit the profile of the Lamb, who is raised on the altar of the Holocaust for service in the church and endure the pain for God's works to move forward. Those who are servants in the church are raised on the altar because they are the lambs. I remember when I died for 10 hours and I saw people who have passed away. Among them were Christians who were prevented from entering the gate of heaven. They were asking for mercy. Immediately I saw the angel that was assigned to the churches of these Christians landing at the gate of heaven. At that moment, I saw one angel heading to a Christian that was among the people at the gate of heaven. He said to him, I know you but you don't know me. I am the angel of the church that is opposite to your house which was supposed to be your church. I was waiting for you in order to bless you once you become a member of my church, but you refused to join the church despite the insistence of the Holy Spirit in your heart. By joining that church, the pastor was supposed to teach you the right message that will sanctify and purify you for heaven but you refused. I was waiting for you in order to bless you once you become a member of my church but you refused to join the church despite the insistence of the Holy Spirit in your heart. You are not entering the gate of heaven. I saw the angel pointing this man to the direction leading to the abode of the dead where black smoke was rising. Beloved, serving God in the church means that we will endure suffering and fire of the altar because the lamb is supposed to be raised on the altar. We cannot skip the fire of the altar because as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats, he will place the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. The sheep and the goat in the end.